What's up, dude? So I just wanted to put a video together real quick to show how iTunes setups for in simulators. Uh, usually the default tune is too loose for me, and most any tunes I try from other people, they're usually, um, they're really fast, but they're, like I said, they're just too loose for me. Uh, I can't control the car very well. Uh, when I tune my setup, I'm not necessarily looking for speed as much as I'm looking for stability. I want to be able to control the car. So what I'm doing is essentially trying to lock the car down. Um, everything I do here is going to be the uh, antithesis or the opposite of going fast, but it's going to it's gonna make the car stable. And for me, that's more important than, than tuning a car for speed. I like to think I can make up for it here and there, but um, if a car is too loose, I cannot control it. So it doesn't do me any good. For the car to be super fast if I can't if I can't use it for some reason simulators uh, tend to suck out of the box hoping this this would help somebody uh, somehow um, it took me a while to pick up what I, what I have learned so I figured I would just share um, anyway starting with the actual tuning what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the differential uh, and preload it's gonna stabilize the car. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for stability. Um, it's gonna take away some of the some some of the, its agileness and dartiness, but it's gonna add stability. That's what we're going for here. So we're gonna increase this. Um, like, uh, normally, I would not. I've never suggest you make the uh, swings that I'm uh, the adjustments that I'm uh, gonna be making here. Um, I've been working with this car for a minute, so I have an idea of what I'm looking for. But normally, uh, the biggest adjustments you want to make is three to four notches in any direction. This one here, we're gonna make some decent swings, but I'm just just for your and when you're setting up your setup, uh, go three to four notches max on every adjustment you make until you figure out exactly what you're looking for. Back to here, we've increased the preload and clutches. I'm gonna increase. This is actually gonna loosen the car up slightly by increasing this. It's gonna uh, make the differential kick in a, a little sooner, but it, just go with me here. This is what we're doing. I'm increasing, the, I'm increasing the clutches, increase the preload <clears throat> to 190. I nearly doubled it. We're going 190. Uh, engine braking, I'm going to add some engine braking. Um, mainly because I think any car with a front front engine, uh, rear, rear wheel drive car, for whatever reason, they just uh, act better and handle better in going into turns with more engine braking, in my opinion. So I add engine braking. Traction control, we're bumping up. I want to be able to control myself here. And let's see here. So we're going to leave that. Suspension wise, again, staying really brief. We're not getting into the components uh, very deeply at all. But I'm going to tell you uh, caster, I increase. Uh, always go positive caster. It just adds to stability. It makes the car slightly uh, harder to turn, if that makes sense. But it just it increases the stability, it keeps it settled so much better. Increasing the caster just keeps the car so much more settled. So we're increasing that. We're leaving the front for the most part alone. Um, I am going to add a little bit more bump stop just to give the spring a little more traction. Or not traction, a little bit more... Uh, a little more space before it... But eh, whatever, I increase the bump to give the shock a little more room to move around. I'm leaving the front for the most part. Uh, coming to the rear, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the rear ride height. And what that's going to do is just going to angle the car back slightly. And again, it's just going to promote understeer. Uh, spring rate, we're going to stiffen, mainly because I dropped it. Uh, bump stop, we're going to give it a little bit more room to move. And going to bump, I'm going to go up like six notches on everything. Seven on slow bump. We're going to go, probably keep it, well, we'll go seven. And then six and six. That's just going to stiffen the, the rear end of the, the car. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to settle this rear end down because it is, like I said, it's pretty lively. Um, going to toe angle, we're going to add some positive toe. Positive toe is actually going to bring the front of the front tires to get, well, the front of either tires. It's going to bring the uh, front together. Uh, if you look at it, it's going to cross item, essentially, forward. Uh, negative toe would do the opposite. <clears throat> it would bring them out. We want to point them in because that's going to add stability. Uh, Anti-roll bar, we're going to increase the front. 
Um, you could decrease the back here. I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm going to leave this alone. Um, decreasing the back would help with understeer. Increasing would help with oversteer. Complete opposite for the front. Uh, the front, you would decrease it to help with oversteer. Increase it to help with understeer. It's, uh, again, we're not getting into the weeds. Just, this is the adjustments I made. I, uh, Increase the preload on the differential, stiffen up a little bit. I did add to the clutches, I added one notch. Engine braking, we went up a couple notches to eight. Trash control, I went up a few notches. Suspension again, we went toe angle was the big one of the biggest things. Toe angle and caster are probably the two biggest adjustments I just made by far. Um, I added positive caster, positive toe in the front. I added to the rear to the front anti roll bar, and then I'm sorry. The rear suspension, we increased the spring rate and essentially just increased everything. We increased bump rate, fast bump, slow bump, and the rebounds. Um, and then just to kind of make up for the speed I'm going to be losing the turns, I'm going to adjust the downforce down. Uh, this is Daytona, so I can kind of get away with that more so than a lot of places. But also, uh, like I said, we're going to be losing speed in the turns. There's no way around it. Um, and again, this isn't a, a done setup by any means, so I'm not even touching the tire pressure here. I'm not really getting into uh, how to make that perfect. You can certainly work on that and the uh, camber angle one to two notches more negative if I did anything. But for now, we're going to leave it. We're, we're leaving the way we got it. We're going to save as a, bu, 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 bu. we'll call them. We'll call it tight. So that's what we're hoping for. Uh, see what I did here. Hoping for the best. For lucky, I made the car slightly easier to drive, a little more stable. And fair warning, <clears throat> fair warning. Uh, I'm getting used to a PlayStation 4 controller, so am I the erratic driving here? Promise it was worse with the stock too. I like the PlayStation 4 controller. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm just it's gonna take me a little bit, a little bit of time to get used to it. It's a little bit different. I do really like it though. Okay, yep. You saw that I just held that there though. The uh, car is handling very well. I'll give it that. Give me a couple hours to use this controller. We'll be, we'll be back in it. We'll be doing something. Anyway, I hope that was just, uh, I don't know, I hope that helps somebody out there that's having trouble with tuning. I know it can be a, a pain to learn how to do it. Once you once you get the hang of it, it is it's it is fairly straightforward. It um, really is. It's a lot of numbers and a lot of stuff at first, but you do get the hang of it fairly quickly. Um, and I enjoy doing it. It's uh, Like I said, just make small adjustments. Do not make the kind of adjustments I made today, but adjust what I adjusted. The uh, toe... Negative and positive toe will have some of the biggest changes in your car. Um, add a little positive caster and positive toe and just try that. And then tighten the differential down. Try those three things and then go from there. Um, stiffen the rear end, soften the front end to add, to, to make it, to add stability. And just give it a shot. See what you think. Uh, let me know down below if uh, this helped. Um, let me know how you tune. How you like your setups. I know for uh, wheel and pedal, you want much stiffer than this. You know, you want completely different. You want a lot looser than this. Um, but for me on controller, this this works. It makes it so I can play these uh, ridiculously realistic simulators on a controller. Thumbsticks. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. I appreciate it.